Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my third year medical school schedule, as well as some tips, advice, and resource recommendations that I've come across from speaking with residents, fourth year medical students, and from browsing the web. But before we get started, I'd just like to share a little bit more about myself. I'm a rising third year because this past academic year, I took a year off to do research, clinical research, not because it's necessary for pediatrics, which I'm interested in, but because I was just generally interested in clinical research. All right, I start off my third year with six-week clerkships. I start off with family medicine, then I have obstetrics and gynecology, then I have pediatrics, which I'm excited about. I have psychiatry next, and then I have neurology for four weeks, internal medicine for eight weeks, and surgery for eight weeks. Now for the general layout of my third year, I start off with something called an introduction to clerkship experience called Ice Week. That's one week. And then I have family medicine from July to August, then OB-GYN into September, PEDS into October, psychiatry into mid-December, and then I have a two-week winter break, which I'm excited about. And then I have this um, elective scheduled in the beginning of January called Pete's Pulmonology that's going to be super interesting and then I have two weeks free that honestly I'm probably going to use to schedule another elective and then I start neurology at the end of January into late February then I have internal medicine into the middle of April and then I have surgery at the very end of my third year who talk about draining <laughs> all right let's start off with the general advice that i've come across from speaking with both residents and other students as you can see i have the general advice written down in this tiny section here just let me focus it a little okay <laughs> all right so first i've heard that emma holiday lectures are really great she has four different lectures, one I believe for surgery, then there's a medicine one, there's a peds one, and there's a psychiatry one. Watch all four of them because they're good for each rotation. I heard online med ed videos are also really good. I heard that to get great use out of you all, try and do 20 questions a day during your third year and then repeat the questions during the one block in your fourth year that you have to review for step two. I heard you should buy a year-long UWorld subscription so you can do it throughout third year. I heard Master the Boards book by Conrad Fisher is absolutely useless because it has a lot of errors. And then I heard Brosencephalon and My Messiah, I believe it's called, Step 2 Anki decks are really good for those who prefer flashcards for studying. I just want to share you specific advice that I've got received for each rotation. For family medicine, I heard that Sloan's Essentials of Family Med is a good um, textbook to read throughout your family med rotation. I also heard Step Up to Medicine is a really good resource. People generally use that for internal medicine, but I heard specifically the ambulatory and the outpatient med sections are great to read during your family med rotation. I also heard that for practice questions, Med U family med cases are great, as well as blueprints and case and or case files. Obviously, people will recommend different resources. You have to choose which ones work for you and make that decision within your first week of rotation. So at least that's my plan. All right, for OB-GYN, I heard Blueprints is a really great resource. So many people, so many like students and residents and attendings at my school have really recommended reading that within your first week of OB-GYN. So that's what I plan on doing. And then I heard UWorld and ACOG's UI's QBank. I don't know how to pronounce that. Probably butchered that, honestly. ACOG's UI's QBank and UWorld are both great for practice questions. I heard that APGO YouTube videos and ACOG vids are great for visual learners. And then case files can be another source of practice questions. For PEDS, ironically, I haven't obtained much information on that, but I heard BR BRS and Blueprints are great for practice questions and background reading. And for psychiatry, I heard first aid for psych is kind of all right, but it's a great review, but it's not very comprehensive. Lang Q&A for psych is great because questions from that resource often show up on shelf and UWorld for psych is good as well. Neurology, I heard pre-test and case files are good, as well as UWorld Neuro, specifically for medicine, not peds. And I also heard NBMEs are great for neuro as well. Now for internal medicine, I've heard Step Up to Medicine 
is a really great resource. It's recommended that you only read certain sections of the book because it's a really big book. It's about 570 pages. So some might not be able to get through all of it within your eight week surgical um, medicine rotation. So I've heard to just read specific sections. Now for surgery, I know Dr. Pistana's surgical notes comes highly recommended. He presents 180 clinical vignettes addressing common presentations in the surgical ward. Surgical recall, NMS casebook, as well as pretests have also been other things recommended for surgery. All right, that's it. I hope you guys found this helpful. Bye.